What up y'all and welcome back. In this video I'll be talking about my journey through breast cancer. If you're new to my channel, I am a right hip amputee and you gotta say that slow. <laughs> and I lost my leg from cancer three times and also I'm a breast cancer survivor so I've battled cancer four separate times. Wow! So, but this video is dedicated to the breast cancer. This book I got in front of me say, let your faith be bigger than your fear. It was given to me by a good friend who also battled breast cancer. And she said, here, Brie, take this book and start tracking your journey through breast cancer. And that's what I did. And what make this book special, y'all, is pink. It got gold pages. And it's perfect for what I'm about to use it for. You open it on the bottom of every page, got a Bible verse. So this one from Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5. Every word of God proves true. Amen. And it do. Front page, I drew symptom diary because it's going to be a diary of my symptoms. All right, turn the page. So every Sunday night between 10 and 11 p.m., I'm going to do a weekly check-in. This is how I set it up. On this page, I got my current medication list. And then how I'm going to track it each page. At the top, you got the month and the week. And going down the page, I separated it in seven days. Monday through Sunday. And then I track my weight. This pill has effect on your weight gain. And um, the day, the month, the time I take the pill, my pain level. Track bowel movement because this pill causes constipation. So I've been adding more fiber to my diet. When they say arm machine, that's a medical equipment I use to help control swelling in my left arm caused by breast cancer. For the arm machine, it's therapy at home to treat lymphedema. So if y'all see me in my videos with compression sleeves on my arm, it's because I have a chronic swelling that's caused by the breast cancer and removing lymph nodes. So I don't have proper blood flow into my left arm and fingertips. So the arm machine pumps that good blood back into the body. Go the lymphatic system. And keep the swelling at a minimum. And I have to use it every day. And not using the arm machine, lymphedema will get worse. It'll progress, turn into another cancer. Swelling already hurt. So it get hot, warm, numb, dead weight, clothes don't fit right. Lymphedema is irreversible, so once you got it, it's permanent. Only thing they can do is treat it. The best way to treat it is to use an arm pump at home. Stay out these clinics and do your therapy at home. So I decided to make sure I log it every day and make sure I try not to skip. Another thing that helps treat lymphedema and cancer is a balanced diet. Drink more water, watch your sodium and sugar intake, and daily exercise. And with each day, I'm tracking the top most severe side effects on the right column. I was scared to start this chemo because we know what it do to the body. It kill your good and bad cell, make your hair fall out, you tired, you can't eat, you nausea, weight up and down. I swear to God, I ain't want to go through that again. But I was brave enough to finally start at the beginning of this year, January 2024. And on the right side, I'm going to be marking all the side effects. The first two entries, no side effects. But I worry, the fear of the unknown. I'm on this pill for the next five years. So I don't know what's going to happen a year or two down the line. So only God know. And that's when I read the title of the book. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. All right. So I drew everything out. It's nice, colorful, and bright. Y'all love arts and craft colors and drawing. It's more appealing to the eye. It's easy to follow. It's fun. It's bright. Everything is popping off the page, right? And I separated by weeks at the top of the page so I know where I'm at within the month. So far, I've been on this for eight weeks. Tomorrow, nine weeks on this chemo. All right, so every Sunday night between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m., I'm going to recap the whole week. Hope I help somebody sharing my experience through this chemo. I'm about to draw out this next upcoming week. And this last Bible verse say from Psalm 138, verse 1. I will praise thee with all my whole heart. <laughs> and I'll be back next Sunday night answering comments and new week filled out. Have a good work week and hit that like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Oh.